Hi, my name is Angela Lee. I'm presenting on my user experience internship and will walk through and model how to improve the usability of mobile touchscreen applications. First, I'd like to review the agenda. I'll provide some information about myself, who I worked with, some tools I used this summer, provide an example of how to improve an application with prototyping tools, and then follow up with some on-site photos and ways to get in touch if you'd like to know more. So here's a little bit about myself. Uh, again, my name is Angela Lee. I study computer science at Berea College. During the summer, I spent 10 weeks as a UX intern at an insurance company, supporting the team by widgetizing, organizing the company's SharePoint sites, and creating page template prototypes. Who did I work with? I was there supporting the business insurance UX team, whose mission is to create cohesive, user-centric digital experience. Uh, experiences. They accomplished this through research, testing, and prototyping. In order to accomplish these goals, the team relied on several applications. Here's a glimpse of a few tools that were used to exercise those methods. First, there's Axure. It's used to wireframe and create interactive prototypes. Then there's Photoshop. This software aided in creating prototypes that were cohesive with the company style guide. And SharePoint. SharePoint helped the team organize their project files and work collaboratively. To share the value of prototyping tools and applying usability studies, let's look at an example of a mobile app prototype. Before going into the example, let's review key considerations for designing mobile touch, uh, mobile and touch friendly interfaces. First, it's important to think about how people actually hold their devices, the orientation um, and the finger versus the thumb use. Secondly, to further consider touch, UX designers must consider the size of the buttons and actions themselves. And third, there's the Chrome, which refers to the menus of the underlying system or application. The application that I've sought to improve is Instagram for Windows. Instagram is a popular app for capturing, editing, and sharing moments. There are over 150 million users on Instagram. And for this project, my aim is to prototype ways to improve the UX for Windows phones, uh, while Instagram has made fairly recent updates for their Android and iPhone users, the scope of this project remains focused on the Windows app phone application. Here I'm going to walk you through how I set the prototype up. I've got the phone here and I've set it linked to a separate page which contains the application itself. Let's go ahead and open up that application. The first issue identified in the application is the second icon at the top menu. It looks like a compass that doesn't seem to have a clear function. Uh, it leads users to space where they can discover new people to follow, find friends, or search for other users. Another issue is the location of the tagged icon. It's a small black icon in this lower left hand corner. And the issue with this location is that it creates a busy space, uh, which can lead to mistaps. The final issue we'll explore is the actions menu, which is um, identified here in the lower right hand corner with the ellipsis button. When you select this button, it opens up options to share the image or report users, but this isn't intuitive at all. I'm going to skip a little bit ahead and share the recommendations that I've made to address these issues. First, I switched out the compass icon with a magnifying glass. It's more universally associated with search. I've also moved the tagged icon to the right side uh, to spread out the smaller icons. And finally, I replace the ellipsis label on the button with the text actions. There's a space, um, to, there's enough space to do it, so it doesn't get in the way of the primary content and it makes the menu more intuitive to the user. And we can go ahead and open this up in preview. Uh, let's see. So here's a prototype of what the application would look like on a phone. You've got um, the search, 
the tagged icon here when you click it it shows the tagged um, users on the app and then the actions button with the new text I also wanted to share some images from my internship on the left is an image of my capstone team next there's an image from my internship activity a scavenger hunt and then finally on the right is an image of me and two of my housemates when we went out paintballing if you'd like to know more about my internship or have any questions about the ideas discussed, feel free to get in touch. You can contact me via LinkedIn or shoot me an email. Feel free to also explore some of my work online at AngelaLeeLee.com. That's AngelaLeeLee.com. Thank you again for watching. Bye.